hello class so it is my hello class so it is my pleasure to welcome you to another interesting class in our adobe illustrator and today's class i'm going to teach you how you can create a simple uh, billboard banner using adobe illustrator billboard banner is part of print design and it's a kind of a very large banner all you have to do is to know the kind of size the color combination and the right picture an appropriate font style for the banner so without wasting much of our time so let's get to the practical started the first thing we need to do is to come to the home tab here and click on file and then, then choose new just to make a new page size so here we need to set up uh, type the name of our design billboard banner then the width is going to be 10.9 and the height so the height is going to be 6.14 now everything should be in inches right here then here you need to make sure that you select your color to be cmyk then from the bottom here click on create so you can see from the screen here that a bitboard banner is a kind of a very large banner so now I'm done with the layout setting so the next thing to do is to start my design so I have to before we start my design I would like to bring in my picture so I'll go to file and uh, click on place so I'm going to make use of So I'm going to use this kind of picture. So let me use the PNG file, then click on place. So I'm going to use this type of picture right here. Place. Okay. So I'm going to drag it here. So this is the picture I'm going to use for this design. So now, what I'm going to do now is to start my sketch. So I have to come to the home tab here. I'm going to select my pen tools. They have to select my pen tools. I'm going to make sure that I change the color fill. Then I'll make some parts like this. Then straight down. And I'm going to close the part here. Then here also, I'll make another part. I'll close the part here. Then another part like this, like this, and like this, and like this. And I make sure that it closed right here. Okay. So now I'll come to the home tab here, double click on the color field to change the color and I click on OK. All right. So next I will right click on the shape now, arrange, send to back. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to change this color of the, of the shape. So I have to start from this one right here. So I'll come here, double click on the color thumbnail. So this is going to pump up. Now, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a, the, the kind of this kind of blue and uh, green. I'm going to use this type of blue here. I'll click on OK. Then I'll select this. I'm going to change this to green. So we'll double click on this color fill and uh, I'm going to look for green here so I'm trying to combine green and uh, 
and the blue or let me make everything blue so I'm going to use this blue right here and click on OK right then I'll select my picture now so I have to take it right here snap now I will right click on the picture arrange bring to front so I'll have to adjust the picture shift key and hot key and drag then I will have to snap it to the edge like this All right so now we can start to type into the banner then I have to come back to the shape here I will right click on the rectangle and I will choose Eclipse now I will draw the perfect circle shift key and drag alternative and drag so I will draw a perfect circle like this okay and I'm going to place it right here so I'm going to come to the home tab here I'll click on edit make a copy edit again I'm going to paste it in front right so I'll have to adjust it shift key and alternative key and drag in like this control plus to zoom out and then control plus to zoom out now I have to select the original shape and I'll change the color to white so select my white color dropper and select this white it's going to be white okay now with this i'll have to come to the home tab here i will change the brush of the shape so we we'll select here i'll select my brush here so i'm going to use this type of uh, i'm going to use this this type of brush here right so you can see All right so here i'm going to insert another picture here in the later so control plus minus to zoom in and then uh, plus minus to zoom in okay i think i'm satisfied with this concept so the next thing to do now is to start to type in into the into the banner so we have to come to the home tab here so i'll select the type two so here is going to be so and then i will come here i will change the font style so i'm going to I'm looking at uh roboto okay let me try railway sometime then i'll come here and i will increase the font size to 60 so here is going to be control a to highlight so I'm going to type in my company name Excel. So I do like to Excel graphics. Now press enter key to return and multimedia. All right. So I'm pressing control A again to select everything. So I have to come here and reduce the font size to SC21. So we can come here and increase the font size like this, like this. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with, let me see, 30. Then I'll come here, I will change the font to medium. Good. So I'm going to select it. So I'm going to place it right here. So I'm satisfied with that. Now here we're going to input some information, some other information. Control plus zero to zoom out to the entire canvas. So here is going to be. Uh, I need some text here. Before that, I'll come back to the type two. So here I'm going to input another text. So this is going to be studio work. So what we do, 
studio work okay so i'm going to press ctrl a to highlight i'm going to make it more bold so i'm, I'm okay with the 35 then i'll change it to bold now i will click on the middle shift key and select work i'm going to change the font style to medium and i'm going to change the color i will select my eye color dropper here i'm changing the color to this type of blue right here okay let me choose this type of okay this type of blue okay i'm going to select this So I'm going to reduce the font size and later come back to the color. Okay, so studio work. Still have to increase it more. So I need to make sure that this is very aligned to the center with the company names. So I'll press shift key on my keyboard and select the company name at the top. Then here, I will come here and click on my align panel. And I'll make sure it's aligned so you can see everything has been perfectly aligned. So now I have to select this back and I'll come back to my type 2. So I'll click the middle of the text, shift key, and select the work alone. Now I'll come to the home tab here and I'll change the color to this cyan. So studio work. Now, one other thing I need here is icons. So icons for, so I have to come to the home tab here, file, and I'm clicking open. So I need, I need this icon, I click on open. So I need another icon. So I have to go to file again. Open. So I think I need this type of icon here. Click on open. Click on yes. Okay, so these are the icons I need, and all these icons can be downloaded straight from freepick.com. They are all vector EPS file. So I need these two type of icons. So let's go back to the banner design. So I think I'm going to change this format. I don't like this brush. So I have to select my circle now, and uh, I will come to the home tab here. I will change the brush. Let me try to use... Uh, this brush format so brush definition i'm taking this to basic then i'll come here and change the format to something like this okay so i'm satisfied with that i think this is much neat okay this is much neat so i have to select this now control minus and uh, just have to make everything much simple so that you will be able to get the concept oh sorry control plus zero now i'm trying to look at what we can do at the top here so i have to select my pen tools now and i will make another part here like this like this and like this like this and i'm going to close the part here all right so I have to select the picture now and the shift key and select this shape now and right click. I'm sorry. 
to select this picture okay select this shape control minus so let me drag the picture out and I'll select this then the white shape shift key right click and then arrange the front page and I'll come back here and take the picture in right click arrange bring to front so here I need to work on this place right click on this rectangle then I will go to remove fill oh sorry anyway so we can we can still delete it I don't I don't like it, it doesn't have any meaning yet so I'm going to remove this white now it doesn't have any meaning I think everything is look good like this so 